Behold, Kevlar. But where did it come from? Meet Stephanie Kwalik, born in the United States in 1923. As a child, Stephanie Kwalik had two passions, science and clothing design. As an adult, she inadvertently ended up pursuing both. In 1946, she earned a chemistry degree from what is now Carnegie Mellon University. Her new dream was to become a doctor, but she didn't have the funds for medical school. So she took a job as a chemist with a DuPont company in the up and coming field of synthetic fibers. Stephanie dove into the field of polymer chemistry, synthesizing molecules and attempting to convert them into new synthetic fibers. In 1961, her work led to the development of a flame-resistant fiber. In 1965, Stephanie discovered liquid crystalline polymers. She mixed up a batch of murky, runny polymers that most researchers would have tossed out. But Stephanie was curious and insisted that they be spun into fibers. To her surprise, the molecules yielded an incredibly strong, stiff fiber. Stephanie knew she'd hit the synthetic fiber jackpot. In 1971, these uber-strong fibers were released to the public as Kevlar. Today, you can find Kevlar in hundreds of products, the most famous being bulletproof vests. 